Alright, so we are back at this bandit outpost, deep in their midst, and have taken out quite a few of them. Uh, we are injured still, but we have lots of supplies now, if ever we get out of here alive. There are at least a couple more of these guys somewhere. Uh, there's an upper level that we have not been to yet. And I'm thinking they might have some guys up there. So they kind of carved out a place for themselves in these train cars. Ooh, okay. Had a feeling someone was going to be in here. But no. No bullets left for the handgun. So stealth is gone except for throwing knives. And just kind of creeping around. Alright. And I think we've come out the other side. Yeah, so now we can go up. Or we can leave. But I'd like to clear this place out and figure out how to raise the gate so we can get our... Shit, somebody's up here. We're worried about somebody being behind us and in front of us. Um, I'm tempted to check out back here. So we don't get surrounded. I think we're clear this way. Except for perhaps any supplies we can find. Which means there's got to be somebody up ahead. Uh, not sure where. But somewhere nearby according to the music. Alright, take all the supplies. Please be the gate controls. Yes, yes, yes. Oh! Shit. There's somebody still alive. Oh! Oh! Okay. Well, he was surrendering, but listen. Cool, that was pure reaction, 100% reaction. It has been a very tense way through here uh, on the verge of death and everything. Uh, and yeah, that was not a good decision, uh, but it wasn't a decision. It was a real reaction. The first shot had flown, the second shot had flown before I realized he had his hands up. My only thought was, oh my God, why hasn't he killed me yet? I'm so lucky, bang, bang. So, yeah. Sorry, dude. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm not too sorry. Let's put it that way. Not exactly hanging out with the best of people. And let's face it, if his guys were still winning, he would have shot me on sight. Uh, do we have a safe way down from here? Doubtful. Um, oh, look at that. We do. Let's get out of here, I say. I say we get out of here and we get ourselves back home now where did I leave my rail car here it is don't want to lose it that was uh, quite a segment there but managed to get through it still no healing we're going to rectify the healing and the uh, loadout situation as soon as we get back to what amounts to civilization.
And judging by the sky, that took uh, the better part of the day. Whoa. Whoops. What happened there? Um. What's going on now? Why, why are we not going through? Oh, because there's, there's things in the way. Alright, are we supposed to push it? Is this just not an option? Why did I clear this? Oh, okay, we're going to switch the track. Is that what it looks like? Maybe I didn't have to clear these guys out? Um, hmm. So the point is to get back onto this track up here, right? Okay. So I did have to clear them out to pull this forward. And... I guess now I need to find the controls to switch us. Maybe if we just pull forward it'll just magically do its thing again like it seemed to. But here we go. Is this a switch? No. Not a switch. If I were a switch, where the heck would I be? Likely not way the hell out here. this okay yeah so not sure just typical don't see any switch to speak of and wondering if or if we pull forward now if this is something that will just rectify itself before we spend too much time looking around let's do that let's just go forward and see if it turns us to the left here we need to go slightly to the left Ah, uh, success? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, brilliant. I love it. I love it when a plan doesn't really work out and you try and try and try again and die a thousand times and then it works. I guess sometimes it's the best we can hope for. And this is one of those times. Wishing this first aid kit was real. I have no desire to stop uh, until we are all the way home. Maybe at that safe house, actually. Maybe the safe house up ahead would be a good place to uh, to stop. We'll see. At least to make some med kits. Yeah, this would be this one right up top here. I don't see anything around. Oh, sh shit. What is that? Was that a signal? Yeah, let's... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, we did grab this passenger car from that place, so major win. We're going to go up into our... We're going to go now, right now. Not fast enough, RTM. Not fast enough, RTM. Man, it's rough out here without a med kit. It's it's old. I'm over it. I'm ready to have five med kits again at all times. I'm ready to have uh, resources on farm and not have to not have to play as if we don't have the option to heal because right now we've been playing on one hit kill for a while. There just wasn't a place to retreat to that we were going to be able to get to. This guy is going to make us fight him no matter what it feels like. Like, I'm going to put my gun down and book it. Come on, our team. Up the hill, old boy. We make it to that door, and we are going to live. But you got to make it to the door. That's, like, the critical part. There you go. Whew. Oh, well, let's get inside. Uh, we haven't been safe for such a long, long, long time. Let's make a few things right. 
and just prioritize that. I need two minutes here before I think about anything else. I need my silenced weapon. And there we go. I need to dismantle all of these. Okay. And so that gives me a lot of mechanical parts. Still not a lot of chemicals. Um, we are not looking very clean. That is not good, so it's basically a single shot weapon at this point because uh, of how dirty it is. This is also not looking good. Not looking good. Things are still looking fairly grim. Just because of the shortage of this, like can we convert resources? Jeez. Just checking out what else we can do. S still basically digging the loadout, but uh, I guess there's a shortage of having the availability of clean weapons uh, is really huge right now. Alright, so we got a couple of things that are going to help us. I'm wondering what I do about the gun situation. Right now, though, I sleep. We sleep, and then we will get the train car home, and then we'll figure out how to get some resources to clean our weapons. But first things first, let's take some deep breaths and relax to the peaceful passing of time. Feels like we've been gone for a very long time from our from our home base. We did clear out a lot of bonus objectives while we've been out. A few things we have yet to do is the one on the island out there uh, that we just deemed wasn't worth it with all those crustacean monsters. We never got the teddy bear and we did pass up that one. So we have a few bonuses we can go back for if we ever end up back in those areas. Felt like it triggered something else over here for a minute. Uh, for now, let's get back down to our train car and get the heck back home. With our filthy guns that have gone through hell. Oh! Not safe. Oh, come on. Oh god, let me in. There we go. Didn't want to have to- oh no, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're gonna rip me out of here or something crazy is gonna happen. We're going. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I don't want them pulling me out of here, forcing a fight. Doesn't seem like they're chasing us down, although I'm sure this thing is loud as hell. And it seems like we should have a straight shot back. I don't think there should be any obstacles in our way. I'm, I'm hoping not. Maybe a passing anomaly? Artyom, we can see you. Great job. Now get over here. The caravan has arrived. All right, we're on our way, buddy. Uh, but yeah, we've just been through hell and everything, but coming back soon. See you from here. So now we'll be able to take our nurse and her daughter. Apparently we needed this enormous passenger cabin to be able to take on our civilian guests. We only had to kill about 30 or 40 people to make it happen. So go us. And the one guy by accident, by reflex. 
right. Yeah, our old home is here. here. Yep, we did it. <laughs> That's amazing. I knew you had great potential even back then at the jammer. <laughs> Sure you did. Oh, isn't she a beauty? All right, man. Thank you, Artyom. Yeah, of course. I don't even know how to thank you. Well, Spasiba. Saying thank you is good. In two thank languages, you, even better. You are the man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I am in your debt. Hello, Artyom. Hey. You should, like, clean our guns for free. That'd be cool. Oh, wait. Oh, we did get some more supplies. Not sure how. Is that just from com returning? Like a quest completion kind of thing? Well, that's amazing. I'm not going to question it at all. I am just going to clean my guns and take advantage of it. Uh, however we got it, that's amazing. All right. So we are... Well, what is this? Horizontal magazine, extended version of the tube magazine that can hold 27 steel balls or 9 capsules. Okay. That seems cool. Oh, look at this. Wait. Hmm. See, these we can switch out for anything. Uh, the Takar, we cannot. Strange. All right. Um. What do we need? Well, we could. We could make some of these. That should be good. All right, and now we uh, actually have some extra supplies, which feels great. That's actually really awesome. Makes me feel a lot better knowing that we have some crafting supplies on hand if we get into any bad situations. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't give you or Duke any direct support. Hmm. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. Yeah, our touchstone you words there, smoothly and quietly. That's uh, that that's our way, forces, isn't it? <laughs> not tank jocks. Well, good yeah. luck, Artyom. We have to think more along those lines, is what he's telling us. Like, hey, Artyom, we know you've been going in and like gunning it up. Maybe you should chill on that. Like, it seems like I wonder if that's true. If the things he would say would be different depending on what we've done. Uh, we see the screen flash colors when we uh, accidentally kill civilians and stuff like that, so... It could very well be that we're affecting how people Welcome talk back, to us, Ranger. interact with us, etc. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. Not unwarranted. <sighs> it's my age, Not unwarranted. I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, oh, I do must tell. say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tihar already. Oh, really? Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. No, I bet that's what we already... I bet that's what we already installed on it, right? The clip? Or the... yeah. We'll check, but it does look like we already... Yeah, nothing new. It must have been this that, he was ta that he's talking about. Alright. And so yeah, it looks like we're going south next to infiltrate another camp here and open a gate and we have this crazy plan that I'm sure is going to work out just perfectly. So we'll investigate that next time. I don't see any other 
Uh, objectives marked on the map, but anything we come across on the way down there we'll also investigate. But I'm going to take a little break here. Thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for the support. Wish me luck.